I am making one jar at a time dill refrigerator pickles, which could not be easier to do and is a fantastic solution if you've only got like a trickle of cucumbers coming in at one time. And you will need fresh cucumbers, of course. You'll need like four, five, six, depending on how big they are. And you're gonna need some salt, some distilled white vinegar, fresh garlic, a quart mason jar, and dill. Has to be fresh dill. And whenever you're making pickles of any kind, you always wanna cut off the blossom end, which is this end right here. It is opposite the stem end. And that will help your pickles to not be mushy and to stay crisp. I like to use a mandolin for cutting pickle slices because it makes the most lovely uniform slices. But if you don't have one, you can just use a sharp knife and try to cut them as uniform as you can. I aim for about a quarter inch thick. I like to use both the heads of the dill, which is what these are, and also the fronds. I probably use about four to six heads and four to six fronds, and we're gonna split them up. We're gonna put some in the bottom of the jar and some in the middle of the jar. First things first, I always like to start with the dill in the bottom of the jar. So shove in about half of your dill. And then next is garlic. I am just using one big garlic clove that I cut in half because it was huge, but you might have to use more if yours are smaller. Next is salt. You can use sea salt or kosher salt, and it is one scant tablespoon full. So that is like a little bit less than a tablespoon's worth. Next, of course, add the cucumber slices and fill the jar about halfway full. One thing that happens is sometimes they don't pack in there very well, so give the jar a little bit of a shake to help them fill in the gaps a little bit better. And now we'll add the other half of the ingredients, so just take the rest of your dill that you had saved, fold it up, and stick it in there. And then I'm also going to add another clove of garlic. This is another one big clove of garlic that I just cut in half, and then you could fill the rest of the jar with the cucumbers. And you do really want to cram them in there. I like a jar with shoulders. This is a regular mouth quart jar because look at how you can just slide them in there and the shoulders of the jar help keep them down and will help keep them submerged underneath the brine. Next, we'll add the liquids. Start with a generous half cup of white distilled vinegar, more like a half cup plus one tablespoon, and then fill the jar up the rest of the way with water, just good clean drinking water and fill it up till it gets past the shoulders and just below the rim, and that's pretty much it. There's just one problem. We have all of that salt on the bottom of our jar. So what happens next is I'm gonna put on a lid, and I'm gonna screw that on pretty tight because what I'm gonna do next is shake this up, and don't shake it vigorously, but you know, kind of invert it to help distribute that salt and to mix the vinegar and the water together. So something that I think you should be able to see here is after mixing this up, that got rid of any air bubbles that were trapped inside here. And now my liquid layer is a little bit low, which is no problem at all. I'm just gonna come in and top it off again with water. I'll leave this jar on my kitchen counter for a couple hours just to let the salt dissolve and I might give it a little shake every time I walk by. And then I'm gonna stash it in the fridge and these need to stay in the fridge for at least a few days to pickle. A week is better. They'll taste really good after a week. And there you have it, one jar at a time, garlic dill pickles fresh from the garden. If you found this video helpful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are the first to know whenever a new video is posted.